everyone, I'm Sukhmani Singh, working in FSSCI as Technical Officer in Codex Division. I'm working with FSSCI from last four years in the same division. And today I will talk about National Codex Contact Point of India, that is NCCP. The Codex Elementaris Commission is an intergovernmental body of the United Nations established by FAO and WHO in 1963. CAC, that's the Codex Elementaries Commission, develops harmonized international food standards, guidelines and codes of practice to protect the health of the consumers and ensure fair practices in the food trade. It also promotes coordination of all food standards work undertaken by intergovernmental and non-governmental organizations. The Codex members and observers, if we talk about the members is the membership of the Commission, which is open to all the member nations and associate members of FAO and WHO, which are interested in international food standards. Total, there are 188 member countries, 187 member countries and one member organization that is the European Union, EU. Apart from these member organizations, there are 240 Codex observers. Now we talk about the Codex contact points, that's a CCP. What does the CCP do? CCP acts as the link between the Codex Secretariat and member countries. Second, CCP coordinate all relevant Codex activities with their own countries. It also receives all Codex final text and working documents of Codex sessions. Circulate these Codex documents to those concerned within their own countries. Review and send comments on Codex documents or proposals. Work in close cooperation with the National Codex Committee. And last, act as a license point for, with the food industry, consumers, trades, and all other concerned to ensure that the government is provided with an appropriate balance of policy and technical advice. Codex Contact Point also receives the invitation to Codex sessions and inform the relevant chairpersons and the Codex Secretariat of the names of participants from their own countries who will be attending the Codex session and maintain a library of Codex final texts and promote Codex activities throughout their own countries. I'm going to talk about India as a member of CAC, that's the Codex Elementaries Commission. When did India become CAC member? That was the year 1964. In 2011, the Food Safety and Standards Authority of India, FSSAI, under the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, was designated as a nodal point for the license with the CAC. FSCCI has constituted National Codex Contact Point, that's NCCP, and you can see the link, it's in our FSCCI website also, and National Codex Committee, that is NCC. Now, let's talk about NCCP India, what it is up to. NCCP India formulates a shadow committee on subject matters corresponding to Codex Committees to assist the National Codex Committee in the study or consideration of technical matters. Each shadow committee is constituted by various stakeholders, which is as follows. Representatives from different ministries, that is Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, Ministry of Commerce, Ministry of Women and Child Development, Ministry of Agriculture, Ministry of Food Processing and Department of Animal Husbandry and Dairy Fisheries. Then we have representatives from educational institutions and representatives from industry associations. Also, experts and scientists from concerned areas which are part of the shadow committee. Now, I'm talking about core functions of NCCP. What, what NCCP actually doing with the codex matters. First, act as a link between the codex secretariat, national codex committee and shadow committee. It coordinate all relevant codex activities within India receive all codex final text that would be standards, codes of practice, guidelines and other advisory texts and working documents of codex sessions and ensure that these are circulated to those concerned. Send comments on codex documents or proposals to the codex secretariat within the time frame. Work in close cooperation with the national codex committee and its shadow committees. Responsibilities of NCCP. Undertake secretary responsibilities to the National Codex Committee. Act as a codex point for the country for maintaining license with Codex Secretariat in elaborating international food standards. Collect, procure and analyze data for elaborating international food standards. 
keep track of international food standards work and give comments and data to ensure that international food standards elaborated are practicable for local manufacturers and do not hinder trade. Undertake study and research work to solve any problem resulting from the elaboration of international food standards. Encourage food manufacturers to improve quality and hygiene management to meet requirements of international food standards. Disseminate information of food standards and food laws to relevant government agencies, primary producers, manufacturers, exporters, consumers and concerned organizations. The National Codex Committee of India comprises of the chairperson FSSI, who is the chair of NCC, then the joint secretaries from the concerned departments or ministries, and chairmen and directors from various scientific organizations to meet as and when necessary to formulate national position. The core functions of NCC India are, first, advise government on the implications of various food standardization, food quality and safety issues so that national economic interest is taken into account or considered when international standards are discussed. Second, to provide important inputs to the government to assist in ensuring quality and safety of food to the consumers, while at the same time maximizing the opportunities for development of industry and expansion of international trade. To appoint shadow committees on subject matters related to the corresponding codex committees to assist in the study or consideration of technical matters. Here I'll tell you about the shadow committee which is under various committees. We have shadow committee under Ministry of Health, then Ministry of Commerce, Ministry of Women and Child Development and Ministry of Agriculture. If I can go ahead with uh, shadow committees and the ministries involved, the Codex Elementarius Commission, the Executive Committee of the Codex Elementarius Commission, the food additives, contaminant in foods, food hygiene, food labeling, general principles, methods of analysis and sampling, fats and oils, processed fruits and vegetables, and then coordinating committee of Asia is under FSSI. If I talk about Ministry of Commerce, then food import and export inspection and certification system is under Ministry of Commerce. We have again spices and culinary herbs committee under Ministry of Commerce. Then under Ministry of Agriculture, we have residues of veterinary drugs in foods, fresh fruits and vegetables, milk and milk products, and pesticide residues. And one last ministry, Ministry of Women and Child Development, they have Codex Committee on Nutrition and Foods for Special Dietary Uses. Then what actually Shadow Committee is doing in Codex Matters? First, the members, the shadow committee members, they discuss and deliberate the various agenda items in detail for formulating country position. After a round of consultations, that means after a couple of shadow committee meetings, the shadow committee members finalize country comments. Then the country comments are prepared on those agenda items which are important to India and to take a country stand is must how important the agenda item is for India and what is the impediments of that agenda items. It is very, very important for India to represent in codex meetings. Responsibilities of National Codex Committee as it goes on. Uh, cooperate with the joint FAO WHO Food Standards Program and to nominate delegates to attend codex meetings. Then formulate national position in consultation with the member of National Codex Committee in the matters of codex and recommend action to the government. Critically review codex documents and all relevant information relating to technology, economics, health and control systems for the acceptance of codex standards or otherwise. Identify organizations to take action or generate database when necessary for preparation of working documents projecting the country's interest. Cooperate with other local, regional or foreign organizations dealing with activities which is related to food standardization the years that would be 2013 till 2016, what Codex, what India has done in the Codex matters. First, 2013, where India participated in the Codex committees and 15 electronic working groups. There was a proposal by uh, Ministry of Commerce under Spices Board of India to set up a new Codex committee on spices and aromatic herbs. 
which was taken up in 35th session of CAC, that was 2012, and the proposal was accepted in 36th session of CAC 2013. India became the host country of Spices Committee in 2013. Then India chaired an EWG on proposed draft amendment of the standard for processed cereal-based foods for infants and young children. That is the correct standard we have, that is 74 number, to include A, new part B for underweight children at step 4. India also proposed new work proposals on okra and wear potato. Which, in which India chaired the EWG in both okra and wear potato. Now, 2014 activities were in which India was um, fully committed in the Codex Committee meetings. That was 13 participation from Indian delegates, hosted the first session of CCSCH, that's the Codex Committee on Spices and Aromatic Herbs in Cochin. Then India participated in 39 electronic working groups, in the same Codex Committee on Spices and Aromatic Herbs, India proposed four new work proposals on black and white green pepper, rosemary, cumin and thyme. In the Codex Committee on Fresh Fruits and Vegetables, the draft standard on okra proposed by India was sent for adoption to CSE at Step 5 Oblique 8. Another proposal from India in the year 2014 in the same Codex Committee in Fresh Fruits and Vegetables was standards on aubergine, which was accepted by the committee. Then there was new work proposal for the establishment of maximum level for total aflatoxins in ready to eat peanut and associate supplement was, that was in Codex Committee in Contaminants in Foods. And then there was another one, a proposed new work proposal on establishment of maximum levels of aflatoxins and spices, again in Codex Committee, contaminants in foods. If I talk about participation in PWG in the same year, India participated in three important physical working groups. First one was the proposed draft guidelines on the application of general principles of food hygiene to the control of foodborne parasites. There was another one which was on principles and guidelines for elaboration and management of questionnaire directed at exporting countries. And then third one was principles and guidelines for monetary regulatory performance of national food control system. Then India also chaired a couple of electronic working groups. There was an electronic working group on discussion paper, how to prepare that on, for the grouping of spices and culinary herbs. Then there was a draft standard on black, white and green peppers. Then MLs for total aflatoxins and ready to eat peanuts establishment of maximum levels of aflatoxins B1 and total aflatoxins in nutmeg and associated sapling plants, mycotoxins, contamination in spices, there was draft standard on wear potatoes and on aubergines, and also draft regional code of hygienic practice for street vended foods. India has chaired the EWG, also co-chaired the EWGs, which are on the draft standard of cumin, then there was draft guidelines, guidance on performance criteria for methods of analysis for the determination of pesticide residues. And last, discussion paper on guidance to facilitate the establishment of maximum residue limits for pesticides for minor crops or specialty crops. Now, in 2015, India participated in 13 codex meetings. India had a good participation, in fact, large number of participation in the electronic working group that was 40. India again proposed new work proposals for dried chili pepper and dried garlic in Codex Committee in Spices and Aromatic Herbs. Then again a new work proposal which was on fresh date palm in the Codex Committee in, of Fresh Fruits and Vegetables. And it also participated in the physical working group process cheese. Then the chair of the EWG. In 2015, India chaired a couple of EWGs. One was on the black, white, and green peppers, which was at step two by three for redrafting. Then discussion papers on grouping of spices and culinary herbs. Then draft standard on wear potatoes and a draft standard on fresh date palm. India also co-chaired a couple of EWGs in the year 2015. There was a discussion paper on feasibility to develop a code of practice for the prevention and reduction of mycotoxin contamination in spices another proposed draft guidance on performance criteria for methods of analysis for the determination of pesticide residues, and revision of the general principles of food hygiene, that's RCP1 and its HACCP annexure. 
Now, let me take you to 2016, the year which was very extraordinary. Why? Because India participated in voting codex committees. There were 28 electronic working groups, out of which six were chaired and one co-chaired. India also successfully conducted the 20th session of FAO WHO Coordinating Committee for Asia, that was CC Asia, in New Delhi from 26 to 30th September 2016. Since India was the coordinator for CC Asia, and uh, Shri Sanjay Dawe chaired the session. India's agenda on the regional code of hygienic practice for street vended foods was agreed to be forwarded to the Ele Codex Elementaries Commission, session 40, for the, for the final adoption. And on the proposal of Philippines, the coordinating committee unanimously agreed to recommend to CSC 40 that India be reappointed for the second term as coordinator for Asia. Apart from that, India had co-chaired the codex meetings starting from 2004, which India co-chaired was the 36th session of CCPR that was in New Delhi. In 2007, India co-chaired 39th session of CCFH in New Delhi again. And in 2015, India co-chaired 9th session of CCCF, again in the capital of India, that's New Delhi. India as the regional coordinator for CC Asia. CC Asia is one of the regional coordinating committees established by CAC, which has 23 Asian member countries. The objective of CC Asia is to promote mutual communication among the Asian members, as well as, as to develop regional standards for certain food products. India was elected as the regional coordinator for Asia for the period of July 2015 to July 17, and hosted the 20th session of CC Asia in September 2016 in New Delhi. India has been re-elected for the second term to be the regional coordinator and will be hosting the 21st session of CC Asia again in India. The involvement as regional coordinator, why is it so important to be a regional coordinator? The regional coordinator has to identify the issues or concerns that are important and have regional connotations. Discussions of relevant issues of common interest example labeling ethnic food within the region which are the agenda of CC Asia and that is one of the important role the regional coordinator has to play. Then it has also to discuss with the other CC Asia members on the harmonization of standards. Also the regional coordinator must conduct informal meeting to get common regional positions. There are discussions on the use of codex standards, food safety and control systems common requirements for import and export in the Asian region, which needs to be deliberated. More capability, building cap activities on risk analysis, strengthen or establish website linkage and exchange of information on food safety issues, and follow-up workshop on standard develop, standards development has to be there by the regional coordinator. So now I have come to the end of the presentation where I would like to conclude that Codex work, codex activities in India through National Codex Contact Point is very important, very essential because we have to make international standards just like we have national standards, the trade facilitation, the food safety is all with us. Therefore, as a regional coordinator also India, we need to understand what Asian responsibilities, Asian perspectives are with regard to codex activities. Bring it up, have more of capacity building so that more Asian agendas are on codex meetings. And in fact, the national standards are in every codex meeting sessions. Thank you.